10 Terrifying Things Found in Rivers Number 10. Diving Bell Spider Diving bell spiders are the only known spiders that spend their entire lives in the water. But rather than being able to breathe in a similar way to how fish do, they create an underwater oxygen supply for themselves. The way they do this is amazing. First, they weave a web between two aquatic plants, then they swim to the surface and trap small bubbles of air within the fine hairs on their legs. Next, they swim back down to the web and release these bubbles before returning to the surface and doing it all over again. Eventually, they're able to capture enough oxygen that it forms a large bubble that they can fit inside, and this is where they live. They hunt from here, rest here, and lay their eggs here. Once their bubble has been formed, they don't need to do anything else to keep it habitable. As the oxygen levels deplete, they are replenished from the surrounding water, which also takes away the carbon dioxide. It's a species that's found across Europe and Asia, and due to where they live, you probably won't ever know if there's one nearby. If you do encounter one, however, you should treat it with caution. A bite from one of these critters is said to be extremely painful. And while it won't kill you, it can cause inflammation, vomiting, and fever-like symptoms for a few days. Number 9. Goliath Tigerfish Piranhas are often thought as being the most ferocious freshwater fish. But what if you were to find one that could grow to the size of a human? Well, that's pretty much what a Goliath Tigerfish is. Found in the Congo River Basin, they can grow to more than 6 feet long and weigh up to 110 pounds. They have a ferocious set of teeth and are called Mbenga by locals, which means the dangerous fish. They prey on other fish, which is why they've developed such sharp teeth that are perfect for tearing at flesh. And there are a number of accounts of humans that have fallen victim to them. One legend speaks of a young girl who was in the water and was bitten in half by a Goliath tigerfish in an instant. Quite whether stories like this are true or not, this is one terrifying river monster you'd do well to avoid. Anglers, however, see it as the greatest freshwater game fish in the world and journey from far and wide to have the opportunity to catch one for themselves. Number 8. Electric Eel Contrary to what the name might suggest, electric eels aren't actually a type of eel, but are instead a type of fish called a knife fish. The first was documented by European explorers in the Amazon rainforest in 1766, and until 2019 there was only believed to be one species. Recent studies have uncovered another two types though, and one of them is even more deadly than the ones that were already known about. The newly found Electrophorus volti can grow to around 7 feet long and weigh around 45 pounds. Special organs in their bodies allow them to produce two types of electric charge, a weak one that they use to sense prey in the water around them, and a strong one that can be used to incapacitate their target, whether this is with the intent to eat it or as a defense mechanism. They are able to release a jolt of 860 volts, which is more than seven times the amount provided by electrical sockets in the U.S. The short bursts aren't enough on their own to kill a healthy human, and it would feel like being hit by a taser. If, however, you find yourself in a pond with multiple electric eels, which is fairly common because they tend to live in communities, then successive shocks would easily be enough to stop you in your tracks. Number 7. Green Anaconda Anacondas are found in the tropical regions of South America, and of the four different species, green anacondas are by far the biggest so much so that they're generally regarded as the largest snakes in the world. They can grow up to 30 feet long, have a diameter of 12 inches, and weigh up to 550 pounds. While they move slowly and awkwardly when they're on land, they're frighteningly nimble and agile when they're in the water. In fact, this is their favorite place to be, and is why they're also known as water boas. They can usually be found in swamps, marshes, and other areas of slow-moving water, and their eyes and noses are on top of their head, which allows them to remain almost fully submerged while waiting for prey to pass by. There's virtually nothing they won't try and eat, and as a non-venomous snake, they wrap themselves around animals like pigs, deer, caimans, and jaguars before squeezing the life out of them and swallowing them whole. They could quite easily eat a human, and are often blamed when people go missing in the Amazon rainforest. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 6. Nile Crocodile Nile crocodiles can be found in freshwater habitats of 26 countries in Africa and are extremely aggressive. 
They are the apex predators of the region and won't think twice about attacking anything that moves within range. Adults can grow to 20 feet long and weigh up to 1,650 pounds, and amazingly can eat up to half of their own body weight in one sitting. The thing that makes them particularly dangerous is that they're quite social animals, so where you see one, there's likely to be many more nearby. They have up to 68 sharply pointed teeth and have the most powerful biting force of any animal that's ever been tested. Furthermore, without any natural predators, the only thing that limits the Nile crocodile population is the availability of food. They are therefore very good at thriving in new environments that are warm enough and have recently been found in the wild in Florida. While it's not clear if they're breeding or whether these were pets that escaped, they pose a very different threat to that of the alligators that residents are used to. Number five, lamprey. There are at least 38 different species of lamprey, and of the 18 that are carnivorous, nine live exclusively in fresh water, and the other nine migrate from salt to fresh water to breed. They live in temperate regions across the world, apart from in Africa, and are one of the oldest known species, with fossils being found that date from at least 360 million years ago. They look like small eels that are up to 40 inches long, but it's their mouths that are particularly horrifying. They have rows upon rows of teeth, which allow them to suck onto their prey and tunnel into the flesh. Fish that have fallen victim to this type of attack occasionally wash up and the wounds look horrific, often leading to suggestions that there's a vicious sea monster lurking in the waters. Despite the way they look, they pose very little danger to humans and are actually of interest to pharmaceutical companies for proteins they produce that could be helpful in the development of medicines. There is one story of a death caused by lamprey, though, as it's believed to be how England's King Henry I met his fate. According to legend, he was particularly fond of eating the fish and died after a massive lamprey feast. Number four, large-toothed sawfish. Large-toothed sawfish can be found in tropical coastal regions around the world, but are often also seen swimming up rivers into freshwater habitats. When fully grown, they can be up to 25 feet long and weigh more than a thousand pounds, but it's incredibly rare to see ones of that size. The most notable part of the fish are their rostrums, which can be about a quarter of the length of their entire body. They're lined with up to 24 separated teeth on each side and is used to stir the sediment on the riverbed to find potential prey, as well as slashing at fish to incapacitate them. Fortunately, they don't choose to attack humans, but injuries have been recorded when the fish feel threatened and have no choice but to lash out. If you find yourself in the water with one, it is therefore best to just slowly move away and leave it alone. Number three, giant freshwater stingray. Giant freshwater stingrays are some of the largest freshwater fish on Earth. They can grow to more than 16 feet in length and weigh as much as half a ton with the largest spine of any stingray species. They are found across Southeast Asia, particularly in the Mekong River, but in recent years, their numbers have been drastically reducing. This is because they are routinely fished for their meat and cartilage, but they don't give up without a fight. They are said to be one of the most difficult and time-consuming fish in the world to catch because they bury themselves under the mud on the riverbed. This means a huge amount of force is needed to lift them up, and it's not uncommon for boats to capsize while trying to do so. Once a person is in the water, they face a massive threat from the stingray that has a sting covered in toxic mucus and is more than capable of piercing the skin and even breaking through bone. Number two, vampire fish. The vampire fish is a commonly sought after species of game fish in the Amazon basin. And once you see one, it becomes clear where its name has come from. They are actually a type of tetra, so are closely related to the types of fish you might have in an aquarium but these ones come with an almighty bite. Typically, they grow to just under two feet long with a weight of up to 39 pounds. Their six inch long, sharp fangs, though, pose a real danger and can tear through flesh with little effort. Usually, they use these to impale their prey before using their other teeth to chew their meal into smaller pieces and have unsurprisingly caught a number of fishermen off guard and caused some serious injuries. Number one. Kandiru fish. At only around seven inches long, the translucent Kandiru fish doesn't look too terrifying. It doesn't have sharp teeth and it isn't poisonous, but there's something that they supposedly do that's enough to strike fear into anyone 
and will make you think twice about ever entering the waters of the Amazon where they live. They are a parasitic catfish, which means their ideal way of getting the nutrients they need to survive is to lodge themselves into another creature and leech off them. Because of their size, they have become renowned for their attacks on humans, which sees them enter the urethra and then extend spines on their back to hold them in place. Now, whether or not this truly happens is a matter of debate, but there have been several accounts of attempts to remove the fish from unfortunate victims. The odds of managing to enter a human body by that route are, fortunately, incredibly rare. But it's enough of a risk that people entering the water often wear protective underwear and only urinate far away from the river, just in case. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.